Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Effie Melia Tanti, and today I will explain my presentation uh, with the title The Portal of Economic Power and Conflict Clause in the Paul Mark BT by Tony Harrison. And these are uh, my talking points today. First is introduction, introduction to the to the theory of Marxism. And then uh, the main area study of Marxism. The third one is analysis and the last conclusion. Uh, so Marxist criticism is uh, a research method, a type of textual research that literary critics use to interpret text. Uh, Marxism approach, uh, similar to the other literary theories that use hermeneutic, hermeneutics of suspicion. Uh, hermeneutics of suspicion is a style of liter literary interpretation in which texts are read with uh, skepticism in order to expose uh, their, pur their poor parted repressed or hidden meaning. Uh, and in this context, uh, Marx formulated the basic premise uh, that the economic field that determines the political field and human mind. Meanwhile, uh, the field economy is determined by the working classes and the owners of the classes. That is was sharpened by advances in production techniques and that it finally exploded in a revolution that changed the power structure and economy as well, uh, as, well as changing the structure, state and human style of thinking. Uh, Karl Marx said that whoever owns the means of production, like the factories, it is uh, they who will control society and enjoy political power and not workers or laborers. Uh, there are four main areas study of Marxism versus economic power, and then materialism versus spirituality. And then the third is class conflict, and the last one is art literature and ideologies. But today I will focus on two main areas of study of Marxism uh, that are economic power and class conflict. First is economic power. Uh, according to Karl Marx, society is formed by the forces of production. Anyone who controls the means of the production like factories or companies can create a type of society because they have power. If a society is shaped uh, by its force of production, the way in which society provides food, clothing, shelter, and other such necessities creates among groups of people social relations that become the culture's foundation. In short, the means of production structure the society. Uh, this uh, the example for this case is a capitalism that has a two-part structure. The first one is the bourgeoisie who own the property and, and therapy control the means of production. And the second one is the proletariat. Uh, proletariat is uh, the workers that controlled by the bourgeoisie and whose labor produces their wealth. Their wealth. This is class conflict. A capital society will inevitably experience conflict between its social classes. People who hold the idea of capitalism, that is, uh, the owner of the economy, <clears throat> uh, then they have their own policies, such as how prosperity is defined. Then there will be a conflict called dialectical materialism. Uh, people who are oppressed by the proletariat ruled by the capitalists are trying to rise, and they demand change. Capitalists demand that they have to step the structure in the society that they create. Actually, the proletariat is stronger because uh, the, the quantity of them is larger than the bourgeoisie. According to Marxism, class differences are only passed on material differences, while differences in race, ethnic, ethnic real, and religion, and also gender are only artificial or fake that made by the capitalists. Uh, it is for to make uh, the proletariat dis disintegrate so that they do not become a uni unity to offer to offer to the bourgeoisie. And then we will discuss uh, the analysis. Uh, <clears throat> in the first two lines of this poem, there is a metaphor for the subject in this poem, which expresses the fact that the subject in this poem is a baker. The subject in this poem is Harrison's father. 
class is represented as a doom. As it, we can call, it, it can be concluded that Harrison Potter is dead. And the oven, the oven is a representation of the cremation process. Because Harrison's father profession is a baker, this shows uh, the existence of economic power. Baker is a profession carried out by the proletariat. Uh, they only operate machines and do not have their own factory. So it can be concluded that Harrison's father was a proletarian. <clears throat> Lines three and four, Harrison explained how his father's previously poor eyesight became fried because of him. Harrison also, Harrison also represents his mother in his father's perception of Harrison's mother. Because Harrison's father's belief in life of death, that is heaven, this shows that Harrison's father is, is a devoid religious person. And then lines seven, eight, and nine, the three lines both talk about how Harrison reacted to his father's beliefs. Harrison also points out uh, that he doesn't believe in life after that, and he feels sorry for that. Lines ten, line ten. Uh, unlike his father, Harrison trusts the world more. This shows that Harrison is against the existence of capitalist system. According to Colmos, religion is the reason why the proletariat cannot achieve equality with the with uh, the bourgeoisie. Religion is used as a control of the proletariat with the bourgeoisie because religion is considered to be able to soften and make the proletariat surrender to accept its fate as the oppressed. As the oppressed, Harrison believes more in the things in the world that can be interpreted as wealth and possession, and etc. It can be concluded that Harrison is trying to rise and improve the equality of his life and does not want to be influenced by the system created by the capitalist. Um, <clears throat> lines 11 and 12. Uh, Harrison believed that what partnered uh, his water was religion. Oh. Mortal speech was that of religion, which gained nothing for the individual in the long run. For Harrison, his father's fate was a burden that blinded him to reality. Uh, last analysis lines 13 until the last lines. The word rise is literally friends to the fact that the that the Harrison's father will never rise, or in this case, rise can be interpreted as the prosperity felt by the bourgeoisie because of his father's belief. The reference to England is the first political statement, a criticism of English society that undermines a man so that he made to feel some dull. Here we can see that the policy in this poem is England because England is a capitalist country. The one small loaf is a metaphor for the, for the, for the, for the Harrison's father, a man whose life chance limited his capacity to develop fully his potential, a subtle criticism to English class system. And the conclusion, after analyzing this poem, there are some hidden files found, including first, Harrison Father is a baker. In economic power, baker is a profession carried out by the proletariat. And second, the difference in belief between Harrison and his father reveals that the fact that Harrison is against the system created by the capitalists because they use religion as a tool to counter the proletariat. This thing made Harrison distrust religion and found his spiritual part on earth rather than in heaven. And these are the references that I used to make this uh, presentation. Uh, thanks for your attention. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.